Lads, am I the only one who thinks that Conor McGregor is going to get absolutely smoked by Michael Chandler if they ever fight, which I don't think is going to happen, by the way. Uh, there's no way this fight actually happens, especially in, I don't think it'll happen at 185 either. Just quickly before we get into this video, um, if you could just quickly drop a like, it uh, helps me out so much. And if you like this type of content, uh, consider subscribing. Yeah, that's all I've really got to say about that. Let's get straight into the video. So obviously Conor McGregor did this a few, I wanted to wait a while because a lot of MMA content creators were making Conor McGregor videos. So I wanted to give my say on it without obviously trying to sound the same as everyone else and crowding your sub box. So I thought I'd give it about two weeks um, just to let, you know, the dust settle. But realistically, I think Conor McGregor is absolutely fucking with Michael Chandler. I don't think this fight will ever happen, to be honest. I know it's booked for the middle of the year, but there's been no announcement by the UFC at all. Um, and I don't ever think this would happen at 185. And if it happened at 185, Michael Chandler would absolutely bulldoze Conor McGregor, I reckon, in one round. Look, Conor McGregor was great at 145 because he was a weight bully. He kind of reminds me of Islam Makhachev. Islam Makhachev's a weight Everyone's a weight bully, really, to be honest. A lot, a lot of fighters are weight bullies. But, you know, I love Conor McGregor as much as the next person, but I just don't think he should really take the fight against Michael Chandler. I want Michael Chandler to get the fight. I think it will be a great opportunity for him and it will set him up for life because he deserves it after all the wars that he's had throughout his uh, UFC career and just career in general, probably. But I just think this is a terrible, terrible idea to do it at 185. You know, Michael Chandler's hungry. You know, he's in the gym every day. He's doing those hard sessions while, you know, what is it? What's the saying? Something about you wake up in silk sheets or whatever. That's whatever the fucking saying is. That's Conor McGregor. He's, you know, he's got more money than my family and the whole street would ever need. Um, and Michael Chandler's a hungry guy who, who's pretty much e-begging for this fight by Conor McGregor. And I don't really blame him, to be honest, because... I'd, play, I'd beg for that fight in front of the whole world if it was going to make me that much money, but I just think Conor McGregor is going to get bulldozed and you don't recover from an injury like that, especially the way his, his, his ankle snapped, you know, people people don't recover from that and I understand that he got on the sauce and, you know, he started pumping some Tren or whatever, you know, and, but I, I, I just think he, I think after that you're just finished, like, one bad leg kick and it could be finished again you know what i mean so and this whole thing with you saw the you know that's fishy as well you know conor mcgregor wait and then the you know they part part ways with uh you saw the you know it's been done before they've made exemptions for people like i think it was brock lesnar who got the exemption and then the fight ends up getting called a no contest i think if mcgregor fights michael chandler at 185 i think this fight is an absolute wrap michael chandler is way way too hungry and he, I think he's just a better fighter now. I think maybe back in the day, Conor McGregor would give him a good run uh, at 145. I don't think he would give him a good run at 155. And I, I want to preface this because I, on my John Jones video, I kind of gave John Jones a lot of hate and then didn't give him enough praise. So a lot of people got on my back. I think Conor McGregor is a phenomenal fighter, but I just don't think because of you know all the party drugs and all the drinking and all the all the nose beers that he's doing you know I and mean, he's not hungry anymore he doesn't he doesn't need to fight and i think deep down he understands that he doesn't he doesn't need to do this so i think conor mcgregor will come back i really don't want it to be against michael chandler because if he comes back against michael chandler his career is definitely finished i think he will probably get knocked out inside the first or second round if it was at 185, he's definitely finished. Conor McGregor isn't big enough to be at 185, I don't think. Um, I know he's ballooned up, but I'm pretty sure he's trimmed down a lot, but he's nowhere near big enough to be at 185. And I think taking some time off as well would have done Michael Chandler, you know, a bit of a favor. You know, he's been in a lot of wars recently with his last few opponents, and I feel like just taking some time off is probably the better outcome for Michael Chandler. You know, he's had about, it, I think, what, a year off? Over a year off? So, you know, he's just been chilling you know, recovering, he's going to be at peak physical condition at this point, you know, so I feel like this fight is just a one-sided affair, but yeah, there's part of me, you know, I keep saying I don't want to see it happen, but then I do want to see it happen, because once if my, you know, Conor McGregor does pull it off and he does knock Michael Chandler out, because that'd be insane, but I just can't see that happening. This is just a quick video on this one, guys, please let me know in the comments below what you think of this fight, um, you know, this is just my opinion, you know, I know I'm gonna get called a casual for for saying this, but you know, <laughs> it's just how the MMA community is But like I said, uh, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it, it helps me out a lot Boosts me into the algorithm so more people can see my videos and thank you for all the support on these last uh, Recent videos the growth on this channel has been absolutely crazy. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out